Yeah, I appreciate that. So we'll maybe switch over to Yumpy now because I, I here I've heard Finnish people say Jampy for some reason. But anyways, um, I've definitely definitely heard. But we're going, we're going to go with Yumpy. I mean, Yumpy is yummier, right? So that's good. We'll we'll go with Yumpy. You really got to put the gusto on it, though. You know, you really got to a yum, yumpy, yumping around. Heard. And uh, yumping flaming for you. <laughs> you good? Yumping for you. Yeah. Flamey's gonna get uh, a little chance to double back and check the tunnels. Just make sure that nobody's on the back line. Smoke double flash, and Ents decide to make the first move here. Alu, nice crisp headshot versus Electronic, tries to catch the player jumping onto the box, and his teammate, Sunny, comes a swinging. They're looking to combine here, but Alu just can't get that third frag. Good thing Yappy comes in, yumps onto the box, and, um, well, 3v2 ensues. Boomich wants his damn bomb. The counter-terrorists have cut it off, so he's going to have to go fight for it. He flashes himself and them, but that's not going to work out too well. Oh. Alu coming in with the slick four-piece pistol and starting CT side strong. Individually the most consistent player on the team, Mr. Alu. And uh, yeah, doing them uh, rifles on the pistols on the off rounds. Very nice hold here on the cat. There was no getting through this man, especially when he got some help from the flash of Boomich, who blinded himself. Oops. It happens. It really does. It really do be like that sometimes. Sometimes it be like it is, but it don't. And other times, it do. Still do. Let's see if the Deagles get it done. Three of them trickled around Navi. Who gets who gets to play the Deagle? Who's who are the poor suckers stuck on Glocks? Perfecto and Boomich. Okay, I can kind of see it. It's kind of okay, yeah. Uh... But like almost all of them can hit a hit a main dig, so I think as long as I think simple as long as simple's got it, then they're in an okay spot. They have the they they don't have very inspired eco rounds, but they're so good with deagles, you can't really blame them. Yeah, some teams the have to use ecos, elaborate yeah, eco setups, utility, boring stuff like that. They can use yeah. deagles. Yeah. Well, a frag grenade could dunk down onto a couple of these T's. Ooh, yeah. Nice little spray down there from Sunny. Gets the second headshot. I'm liking the A1S usage out of Ents. But Flaming does connect one of his Deagle shots. He is then, of course, found out to be hunting from long. He's dropped out of the round. Simple comes up empty-handed. Ents, 2-0. When are we switching over, man? Because it's been nothing but uh, silenced M4 highlights, all all masters long. Seriously, they're making this gun look incredible. It's they're making it look incredible, it. Connor. It's, well, it's got some of the. I think compared to the M4A4, it's got like uh, some pretty really incredible. Nice ones. Yeah, really nice skins. You are correct. Yeah. Simple. In that. Okay. Oh, he's got one. Hand over face. There's a chance. That's a good kill. Ooh, Second one. Very Can't nice. Trade. Yumpy looks for the guy in the back, and it's Simple who's very low now. He's, He's definitely killable. Fall. Yeah. Flamey one and done. Sunny trades, but this has been the trade train all day long at long. Look at the radar. Look at the deaths on the radar. Can you can you tell me where you think the fight happened? The CTs, it looked like they tried to take long control. Show me where he shot you. Look at this pile of corpses. How scary is it for Sergey to walk in here? He gets another one. Nine deaths across the map, all of which happen on long. Hmm. And sometimes, yeah, sometimes that's that's how the story goes on Dust 2. It can be a gamble from the T side to go for long control and for the CTs to try to deny it sometimes. And we don't even see a smoke on the long corner. We're not seeing too much utility usage back and forth, which is kind of surprising. It invites Ents in to try to fight, which I guess is, you know, what what uh, what not be wanted more than anything else. Oh, very nice. Getting an end there, yeah. It really sucks for the CTs. We see the scurried rotations here from the B uh, to to pick up for the fact that it could be B now. But all the while, Jan Yumpy was working on top mid, which is such a boon to the CT side. They get the one kill, they get the information, and this forces Navi to uh, go back and try to reclaim some of this lost ground, which means fighting in spawn, which is never that fun. 
No, Yappy's gonna get himself a second in the round, really screwing with the back line of Navi here. If they decide to just trudge through the smoke grenade, well, it may go from bad to worse. Alu tucked into the Humvee, loses his teammate, but has the trigger discipline long enough to execute Perfecto. However, there is still Simple tucked back behind the car. Now, Alu knows there's a chance that this happened, but oh. at the same time, he extends, and that's going to cut down Flamey. They know. You can see in his positioning, he is far more worried about car than anything else. He calls out Simple's position, not that he can do anything about it. 40 seconds left, one versus three from arguably the best player in the world, but Ariel extends, and you saw that speed of the drive-by UMP unexpected by Simple. Mr. Alu catching some great timing. This is the round one uh, 4v5 as well, with Serga getting spammed down, and no retribution from that part of the map, but it was Yumpy to push top mid to get the kill outside long, which was an important name tag that oh, forced Navi yeah. into an awkward spot. Okay, I didn't even note it. Holy smokes, of course Simple gets that kill. That's a... Uh... Yeah, what? oh, that's from the... I'm like, I'm mm. so confused. Yeah, it's another CG side dead. Oops. And, uh, yeah, slight missed smoke. Sergey is gonna be like, yeah, it was on purpose so that I could see the tunnels. I love taking this fight. Guys, I got a hunt. I got a new Humvee smoke. You just uh, you bounce it off the wall right here. Mm -hmm. It's like when you want to smoke tunnels, but you just do it wrong. Oh yeah, well, it was one of those view model lineups. Won't come back to bite him too badly because catwalks under control. Simple. The only frag so far this round for the T side. Flamey's gonna get picked up over him, and Simple's still trying to survive here. He's getting shot at from all directions, all elevations. And they pull their train into the station. Four rounds for them. Here's the start of it. Just the old clip straight through the door. One more time, please. Oh, so it's okay. brutal. It twice. Yeah. You know, he's aiming for that cross at that specific elevation. It sucks. There's a number of ways you can die. It's all going to come down to how simple reads it. And he upgrades his gun. Doesn't hit the shot on the player crossing. Still looking towards mid. All, eyes all the way down to help his teammates make sure that no one's pushed into lower. Make sure that he is good to move down himself. The CTs don't look like they want to fight here. Again, they won the last two rounds uh, 4v5. They don't want to have to do that a third time in a row. Sunny up close front box. Long control being held for the ends. Committing quite hard to it. Rotations are going to be somewhat laborious to get back to the A site, whether or not they push through long or they come and just, and just play on the ramp with Alu. But once they've identified no threat here, Alu can start to take pot shots on the player's crossing, and it'll be a game of dodging flashes while still trying to have impact. Some offers better at this game than others. Eyes over the smoke for Simple. He dares Sergey to go for this peek, but he's just flirting with the corner of the wall. Another follow-up piece of utility here. Still tons of flashbangs for Ents left over. Double Molotov as well. And it looks like they're going to go for the boost. Yep, trying to catch up Catwalk. Simple. Seems aware of the possibility, but oh, good thing he can trade that. It's actually Sunny to find the head of Electronic before he falls down. Now we do have Sergey doubling back to the B bomb site, as this could have been the trigger for the B split. 20 seconds left over. They know that Catwalk's compromised. So the CTs have to stay split, and they're just going to look to lock this down. Yampy gets over towards the car, losing his teammate in Flamey, who extends and gets the second too. Boomage just holding out towards middle, and as long as Alu can't stop the bomb, which seems an impossible task, this one belongs to Navi. I think they may have misread it, actually, because I think once they got the kill at the trade here, they might have assumed that uh, the, the second player rotated over right side doors into CG spawn. So, you know, split towards B versus two players um, wouldn't have been quite as nice as going towards A, but they obviously were factoring uh, Alu's presence as well. So they may, maybe they were aware, but uh, it seemed like Ents were in a, not a bad spot to try to hold on to that. They lose around 4-4 four to four with the immediate trade, yeah. Did it go unnoticed? Seems so. Yeah, it looks like no one was spotting down. And because he got into position, they're going to go ahead and try pushing up the tunnels. Two kills in for Navi. Sergey with one. And in the mix there, we do have Sergey getting past that first player. So he's able to fall back into the bomb site. It costs them two bodies. 
So Ents at the man disadvantage, but uh, that's also one of those plays that could have gone horribly wrong and they could have already lost it all. Yeah, Ents doing pretty good on information, but this is also a nice rotation here in the mid round from Navi. Moving over towards B, it's kind of the least scary choke point. Flash over to peek to top mid, but not seeing a body. And now this rotation becomes kind of a negative, but Sergey, he's going to hold this all alone. Gives up the bomb site, lets them cross over. Ariel, a fight at top mid versus Simple, who's down to 45, picks it up with the ump. Sergey, great damage on the cross there, doing so much to Flamey, but also chipping away at Boomich, whose hands were busy with bomb. He gets that in. They're wary of the window peak, and you know that Boomich has to be thinking about it because he's so exposed to the tunnel for the moment. However, a little bit of disjointedness. Ariel comes in first, almost giving himself up. Flamey has nothing to do but hide, and Ariel doesn't even give him a damn chance. That's a seventh frag for Ariel, a fifth round for Ents, and they did that with one player even on the Deeg. And, and I think that comes down to just the proactive CT side that we're seeing from Ents. You know, even with a limitation, they make the first move. And they commonly did that on train as well. So five to two, the score. At a minimum, you could say they gave enough information to Sergey to be confident enough to take the fight, knowing it was probably going to come his way since they had long and cat pushed completely. Plus, the fast cat rotation does help out as well. And the long flank ends up netting them what's supposed to be, uh, you know, simple catching free lurk kills down mid because they weren't expecting that. So, yeah, as you pointed out, yeah, they were tr they were working, they were doing a lot uh, positionally to make up for the fact that they were down Ooh. in, in uh, rifles. Alu, great opening kill. Bit of skeet shooting from him. He'll move back to car. They got the double cat set up so he can really play for himself here. Even while he falls off, still making moves elsewhere. You know, kind of uh, like waves. Losing long, moving Push their momentum pull, right? into the catwalk instead. Yeah. Trying to find a weakness here, trying to find a single hold. And they could, with Electronic being down in the depths of the tunnels. He's playing around the corner as well, and Sunny definitely looking to hone in on this. Smoke Grenade gets thrown from long towards bottom of mid, lands on the Xbox. Electronic's gonna sit within it. He could very well pop up and just best Ariel here. Ariel, get back. He's cut off by the Molotov. This is so proactive. They go ahead and throw Yampy down through the tunnels as well. He has a teammate by his side. Electronic activates from inside of the smoke and Yampy catches his head just through it. Bomb gonna be skewered, pinched between two, yet Boomich still able to move his feet forward. Just one player left on the site. He, oh, snaps between the eyes and Sunny dies, leaving the bomb plant to go down for long. CT's coming in from both Cat and Spawn. Perfecto sees the jump. Can't do anything about it just yet. Boomich dueling towards Cat. That is a bit of success, but Yampy's in for the one versus one, and it's low HP on both these players. A smoke to give vision for Boomich. And now he's got the advantage because Yampy's going to peek right in. His legs exposed and could very well just die to a single shot. Boomich, patience could pay off, but oh, oh no way he wins my that. God. No, what, that's that's actually so smart. I, I need to see if he had vision. If he crouched underneath no, the smoke he, and just saw enough, or was that a straight up no, pre fire? No, it had to be a pre fire. You have that fight dead to rights with that smoke down. That's a that's basically just a one way. You're seeing feet first. The only thing that Yumpy does is wait long enough that Boomich is going to take the most favorable angle possible. It's just like insane by him. He, he might have just shoulder peek just to be clear of what could be in the area, but I mean, it would be doubtful if he saw anything properly. That was uh, so sick, man, for such low HP as well. And in, in general, an incredible round by him to get the th three kills. The final round of Train saw Yampy's second ace on the map ever. Wow, and what fashion to do it, to win the map, to do it with the op, and uh, to have a no scope to top it all off. I, I, I mean, the whole round from Ents was beautiful, right? Like the the way that they had, they worked off Alu to allow him to watch long. He got the opening kill in the fashion they wanted. They were so active on all parts of the map in upper tunnels in that late round, but also on Cat, knowing and believing that there was going to be a kill there, even though Boomich was as patient as possible. At every step of the way, Ents were calling them out. And a lot of the time, it was Yampy. Think about the way he kills Electronic just over the Cat ledge. 
The way he wins the 1v1, he deals with the perfecto play. Oh, it's just, it's too much to handle. You know, I would have made a big gamble on Yampy not being able to win that clutch. And yet, that's the world we live in. And Ants show no sign of slowing. Just coming into this one versus the upgraded pistols of Navi, tearing them apart. They tried desperately to get that bomb onto the B site. If Ents can do this with five survivors, their money's going to be so good for it. Because even though they won that last round thanks to Yampy, it had economic costs. And then boom, the bank accounts start stacking up with five survivors in that mm. one. This is a momentous CT side for Ents to run away with. They definitely look on great form. Now, just uh, just for me, is it is it? Now we're saying Yampy. Is it Yumpy or Yampy? I'm. I'm it's Yampy. To me, is it it's Yampy. Yampy. Okay. Like it would the... be Jampy, but we're we're the J is a Y. Okay. Because I heard it was supposed to be like Yummy, like Yumpy, but uh, maybe it's okay. Maybe that's, that's just when he that's aces. Tough. Yeah, maybe when he aces. Okay. Wow. Another two opening kills. Initially on the long control. This time it's not Alu that has to take part. It's Ariel and Sunny, they shut it down. No trades in sight. I mean, that's this is where the begin, the end can begin and end. And we know it can still be worth the gamble on the T side. But when it goes this way and you're down seven to two, you're really just uh, you just got to walk it off, reset the situation, search out some other openings. I will say it's one of the easier maps when you're down in in, in material to be able to claw your way back in off of individual plays. That is some of the the luster and appeal of of uh of dust too but uh ends are no slouches individually right now so don't know where the exploitable weakness is maybe it is maybe it is mid dude if you just i mean look yeah i i don't, I don't want to get i don't want to get too big picture here but remember that like as young as Navi are, right? This is a team that we talk about. Imagine their potential with players of this age. Yampi and Sergey are both still 18 years old. Wow. Like Ents outside of Alu. Not the oldest roster either. So much room for growth. Mm -hmm. Such great signs early on. Simple, he's going to eat the flashbang. Unable to pick a player off of the B bomb site, but Ents are able to cut down another number from Navi. Flamey through the window still sees nothing. And it looks like he's going to try to fall back with Simple, but he gets caught by Sunny. Seven seconds left. The saving of an op seems like all they can do. This is an 8-2 lead for Ents. Massive plays being made here on their CT side. And I do like when Ents are pushing for map control. They can push another extremity and have it connected to their initial push to make sure that they're covering each other, even if it's in this like clamped-on pre-fire. And that's an incredible adjustment from Sunny to do especially almost full flash like that. I mean, that's an instant headshot towards the blue box cross. It was a good flash out from Navi, a very fair attempt at long. But to all their teammates outside long, it probably didn't look great. Easy five Alu. Alu has won one 1v5 in his career on Dust 2 against Navi. I can't recall the actual round. Could someone tweet me the clip? Which, do, you, do you remember what the 1v5 is on Dust 2? No. It's not crossing my mind for some reason. It's not a very big mind, but it is hard to cross. <laughs> and it's <laughs> it's also a lot of Counter Strike. That's true. You know. Yeah, and I'm not very organized. It's 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 somewhere in there. Check the filing. It's a, yeah, it's a bad combination. All right, look, what do we got? We got Simple with his AWP saved from the previous round. We've got uh, Deagles. And quite a bit of utility across the board here for Navi. Now, they did win a round just like this when Simple was able to hang on to an op on train. Let's hope for Navi's sake that he can pull one out of the hat here. Same state of affairs for Ents. They've got nothing to prove at this point. They've won all kinds of rounds. It's, it's Navi who are terribly afraid of them from a conditioning perspective. You know, they get diminishing returns from being overly aggressive at this point. Oh, Since my. the Navi are going to be absolutely petrified. Yeah, we got ones in the chat for Boomich here. A grenade that leaves him on one HP. Yeah. Look how red he is. <laughs> so red, yeah. He's been out in the sun too much. He is mentally yeah. limp limping up cat. There's a. He might already be dead. Yeah, I think emotionally. He just doesn't know it yet. Yeah, he's dead emotionally. 2-8 on, on a block. 
on one HP on a flash. His sole purpose should be to throw that flashbang at this point. Yeah. They're going to start using some of their utilities here on Cat. Another smoke plumes. Sunny looms near as he tucks into Goose. He's got that op to hold cross in Alu. Boomich does what he can. Didn't have high expectations for the poor man, but here comes Simple, able to respond. Starting to chew the numbers off of this site, but uh, okay. It's the Deagles, not the op that apparently we had to fear because somehow we've got both Flamey and Perfecto picking him up. A secondary op retrieved and Ents called a save. And this is, of course, why Navi buy Deagles, where everybody else will buy some utility and mix it up with the P250s and so on. This is well, four recovered guns. They have the two ops. They have the... It's, 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 a, it's beautiful how much they get off of this. And well, I have well, to what? think to myself, this is one of the rounds where we saw Ents be the least proactive. They well, most they have, certainly let Navi come into that A site. Well, they, you know, they have every right to. It's an eco round, you know. Maybe sure. they would have yeah. would have been worth. It's just that the thing is, wait, right, with the Deagles, if you have the opening kill or the opening shot, you nail that shot, then there's not so much that can be done. I mean, unless you get all your damage in by utility, which you can't say they didn't do a good job on utility. They had Boomage down to one HP. Uh, they had nades on the cross. They had the, obviously a couple of flashes come in, but. Uh, you just got to win the duels. And and of course, with aim as good as Navi uh, across all, all of your players, you're going to win some some deagle rounds like that. But not not everybody can do that. I mean, it's quite an expensive version of an eco round as well, especially if you think, you know, some people only buy a P250 or some people only buy half a nade kit. They're not spending on average as much as five deagles. Oh my goodness. Simple just got outbrained. Yampy was so patient waiting for the walk down ramp and then he peeks into suicide expecting Simple to be on top of that box. Just rail guns him and Ents right back at it. Alu, he's going to be flustered off with the cat push because of the Molotovs. Throws a couple flashbangs of his own. No, he's going to save one. Ents have oh, been wow. pretty good at uh, tempering their utility usage. I'm a big fan of that. You know, a lot of mm -hmm. the times we see nades just dump for the sake of using them. But Alu hangs on, and he's going to get a T to walk into him. A couple, in fact, misses the slight readjustment. This gives a chance for Electronic to take down another head. He actually decides to dodge that fight, but walks right into Ariel. Wall bang, silent headshot. That's as good as it gets. Ariel with another one before Boomich responds back, Sergey killing him and leaving Flamey in the clutch. He is able to get that AK instead. A little smoke on the bomb site. That's going to cover his plant. Sergey walks up on this, and Flamey's already prepared to try and clutch, but Sergey off of the box takes Ents onto the ninth. A six round lead with three to go. A round that might be easily lost if Alu dies and they allow that much space to be created, but you see Ariel get this critical frag on the player crossing into default. It's not only a visually pleasing and very impressive skill, kill mechanically, but it's the one that denies and, and scares Navi into trying to grab more space, and then they end up fighting into CT spawn, and it makes up a lot for the fact that Alu dies there without a kill. And that's a trade not in favor of the CTs here. This is big. They get mid open right away. The ops down on the CT side. The instant adjustment here from the CTs as they try to recollect some information, the rotation over towards B this time. And this is shaken up because Navi now know that they have two have replaced in B, so there's maximum two on the right side. They've had eyes down mid this whole round. And once again, you know, their mid player has been taken out. So this this could be huge if uh, Navi try to take up Cat quickly. Oh, just, this is the player they're not sure about, him. though, because they're assuming that Alu might still be at A. Oh, oh chance. Missing the op shot. Big chance. Would have been the four versus three. Could have given up the A site as long as Ariel continues to lock down long. But uh, it looks like Ants actually want to fight for this. Going to contest the cat control. Alu eating flashbangs. He's oh, still ready no and flash. waiting. So, yeah, they don't do enough to actually disrupt him from this position. He's just going to keep 
his eyes on it. All the while, the push into mid is good from Sergey. He's going to cut down Flamey. Now, all of a sudden, we've got Perfecto and Simple just pinned into this position. They're desperate to find a way out. Simple takes to the skies and blows Ariel away. In with another one. Simple's got a teammate in Perfecto to give cover. This is the two versus four. Turn to the 1v1. Simple sticks the landing. And Navi find their fourth. It's the patience at the end of the day. And the 4K round by Simple, including this opening kill down mid. Now, another round one off of amazing individual efforts, but man, I want to say that that Navi were a step behind, even though they had so much. In, they had considerable information after that opening mid kill. They held on to it. They even picked the correct choke point, but they were slow to get up. They had bad flashes on Alu to cross cat, and they didn't commit hard enough, and then ended up almost losing before the bomb went down. Am I being too harsh? No, I think you're spot on. Let's see if Yumpy can do anything. First off shot connects. He is the biggest weapon swinging for Ents in this 14th round. And they most certainly want those double digits here on the CT side. Ariel flash into the corner of Cat, decides to peek past because there's a helping hand from a teammate. But uh, Yumpy's flash not quite hitting the mark. Now, Four versus three, Navi favored, back in with cat control, and they've liked this. They've used it to add a couple rounds to the board. Why not try it again? Well, Yumpy's happy to see that they're actually coming towards him. Mid's locked down for him to take these open duels. So can he win them is the question. Nop's not up first. No leg shot in, won't have many other opportunities. Perfecto sidestepping back and forth is a dance that's a bit too dastardly for him to deal with, and that leaves Sergey alone. One on four situation, one of the shortest guns in the game, but one of the brightest minds to hold it. And uh, he'll very, at the very least, will have an AK for later if he wants to go grab it. A fifth one for Navi, starting to piece together enough of a T side. That was going to be uh, a big playmaker position from, from Yumpy if he was going to stop them on the A site. But uh, mm -hmm. a couple of missed shots, not easy ones to hit either kind of popping up and popping back down. Also, close proximity as the T's did waste no time getting close to him. Sergey decides maybe he wants that AK, but he hears Boomich come downward, so it's delivered to him. Doesn't even have mm. to go to work. Just just lands on his doorstep. Hey, sometimes people were working from home these days. So, yeah, he's, he's, uh, he's doing just fine, just putting in as much effort as he needs to do. They wanted that kill just to... I don't know, really ruined the economy of ends. They would have had to, yeah, even last year, but uh, one, one, M one MP9 and one rifle, but now they've got two rifles and a UMP on aerial. I want to say decent guns as we move into the last round of the half. Honestly, ends have been playing quite well. Ends struggling to find five, or sorry, not struggling to find five, although they get there. They now have a good chance to grab six, but are absolutely not out of it. There's just a deagle in the back of B. And his worst nightmare is that this gets called out. But there hasn't been a full-on B play since the beginning of the half. Ooh. Little cat boost to keep eyes down tunnels. Feel like Yumpy calls out the fact that they're near here. He had an inkling with that deagle up towards tunnels, but uh, they have to fall off of it. Electronic does a good job of dodging. They don't entirely retreat, however. Ariel's actually going to stick around with the ump. This did enable Alu to double back. Just smokes off long doors. Ariel ready to hold, but only good for the one. Can Alu go any better? He is tucked into the goose. They make a lot of noise on their rotation. Sunny sprinting over. He has a Molotov, and if that Molotov lands at, say, the 30-second mark, then we're going to have Navi in a real pinch trying to force the issue over. And that's exactly what happens. Now, this is going to enable Ents to maybe come in from the backside, too. Navi having to extinguish the flames and run through regardless. 20 seconds left over and a couple of landmines on the bomb site. They're even using their flashbangs to try and go for these peaks. Sunny able to connect the headshot versus electronic. 10 seconds left and a deep frags filling the kill feed there for Ents at the end of the first half. Now, very clearly the favorites to win this match. They're one map up after train. They're five rounds up after this first 15. And we find them switching over to the offensive dust two to try and take the win.
ladies and gents, buckle in, because Navi are no slouches. Let's see what happens now that they have to hold. Maybe Pimp was on to something all along. He's going to be insufferable nah. on the desk after this. Yeah, I can. You know what? I know that he's listening right now. Pimp, I know that stupid smile you have on your face. Okay, you were right this time, all right? But, uh. Oh, you called it then. Yeah. Oh, look, he's convinced me inadvertently. I'm not calling this one till it's done. I don't sleep on Navi. Yumpy, 99 health gone, but one seems to be enough. Oh, boy. Yump on it. Yump, yump, yump on it. Two kills with a single point of health. He could even get another one because, like, oh, never mind. Electronic. Slick little flick to clear him. And it's oh, three pushing. versus three back. Boom, itch. Good for just the one. I love that they push through here. Now they have the doors to try and give cover to themselves as CTs come out from tunnels, take the bomb site. They're going to go ahead and tap that bomb. Now there is no kit currently on them. Electronic hoping that somebody peeks into this. If not, how do they unroot these T's? Electronic now trying to commit to this. Sunny, he's able to just walk straight down as Simple had his hands full. Ents winning second pistol. Yampy, like a Sith Lord back there, hooded, gets two kills with a <laughs> single point of health. <laughs> Man. Oh, he just didn't even care. He didn't care at all. He was like... I got my P250 croc. I'm gonna sit here and wait. That was and to, oh, there's a mix-up of protocols there. When someone when they're splitting window and door, the first shot comes into the window, but it doesn't stop the guy. He needed to fight that no matter what to allow the bomb to get stuck. There's no way for the door player to kill him first. Well, yeah, yeah, okay. They just yeah, they just throw Alu out into B to try to get some kills. I hope he only had like a Mac 10. Yeah, he looks like he had yeah. a Mac 10. So fair play, they go for the scout. They don't trade for information um, on other parts of the map just like right away. So this is a bit scary here for Enz. It's pretty wild Perfecto even got that kill. I mean, he, he had just finished building his gun. Yeah, the that Lego easy, gun, that almost, is easy. Uh, I mean, almost came back to bite him. He's gonna try to pin down behind the car. Flamey. Oh, oh flamey, double deagle. Off of the door peak. That's going to leave Yumpy to try and ace. And I just have a bit of a hunch. Oh, that maybe he pulls this one off. But Perfecto pops back up from behind the car. Remember me? Mac tens him down. That's a five round lead still for Ents, but they do drop the ball after winning Pistol. Definitely helps that this double deagle play comes in. And then remember, of course, it all started with Alu sprinting into the B site on his own, offering up the MAC-10 that got that final kill. Definitely. It comes back to haunt them. A couple of very nice deagle kills there by Flamey, just after kind of the after image flash that comes out of mid. And of course, credit to Perfecto for stopping the initial rush into B to start things off. That's a... Uh... You know, a joint effort. Another eco one in this series. It's been a damning statistic for both teams. Less so for Ents, of course, being up a map and up by five rounds. But with the momentum trading hands, we'll see if uh, Navi can at least keep this going and make it two in a row. We saw the ecos go back and forth on train. What will be the difference maker? There's a couple of smokes here for Ents. And again, see how we have like more of a balance uh, eco round or force up where you have the deagles, but then you have a couple of P250s, some utility to work with. It's the full nice mid beat. Smoke. Follow with the flash. Let's see if Flamey and Perfecto can survive the test here. Straight up two versus five on the B site. They're going to get pressured from both directions, able to lock it down perfectly. Oh, that is exactly how you want your Ecos to go. Yeah, very beautiful. They were taking the attention away from one fight, handing it over to the other player, switching to a different choke point, dealing all the damage themselves, denying any bomb plant, not needing rotations, allowing their players to come into this round with a lot more money. Of course, everything goes perfectly well there for Navi. Very nicely done. And that's versus, you know, an exec where Ents get as much map control as they want without taking damage. Trying to get line of sight on these T's, but uh, Flamey actually comes out without very much information. 
Now, worst case scenario is five of these terrorists just run at the A site, but uh, even that should be managed by Navi. The old double run boost. Who wins? Hup! And over. And, well, they don't get anything for it. CT is unable to actually stop that, oddly enough. Sergey, double Glock kill. Frag grenade goes deep. More damage being done versus Boomich, but the uh, Galil isn't going to be enough to get this over the edge. Can Alu do the unthinkable? Two more CTs to take. Flamey puts a real quick end to that one. But who knew five Glocks, double run boost could be so successful? Well, five Glocks, double run boost makes up a hell of a lot of ground from that previous round where they weren't unable to get any kills. They get the bomb down here, three frags, majority deaths and kind of make up ground for some of that uh, economy they were unable to steal away from Na'Vi on that B exec. Nice nice here from Alu to specifically to get that last kill. It was a labored spray both ways, but Alu, well, Alu was the one tapping. So being a bit more calm, a bit more patient as we know him to be. Alu looking for the cross pick. No one gives themselves up. Fast long control out for the T's. It'll be forfeited. They'll have to run back to the site. And it looks like you would assume cat control is going to get pressured now that this is free. As the CTs start to walk back up to it, they'll find Simple is right around the corner. And he gets a shot in, but doesn't get a kill. Nate will do the trick. Oh. Electronic actually taking it away from him. Killing. Whoa, Sergei wait a second. Before the oh, grenade. wait a second. What? That's all long. That's how you do a long split. Holy smokes. I can't believe those players ended up running up that fast. They saw the out that symbol took a shot and there's a second player turn in the corner. They wasted no time whatsoever. Man, the communication must have been sick this round. Perfecto now in a 1v3 to come up cat. But how is he gonna how's he gonna win this? Best he can do is pick up symbols off if it's even still there. I'm gonna need a replay on that one. Not gonna that, lie. I looked away, I missed it all. Wild That's timing crazy. by Ants. Yeah, I mean, you got to love having a split go that way because that, that pressure that would have failed and then would have been a reset with long control, which would have been more of a stalemate, turns into Ants just pushing both at the same time, calling out the fact that Navi have only so many eyes and they're probably going to overstack one choke point as opposed to split their attention between two. That's really scary for, for Navi. <sighs> See how this one will unravel. Sunny. Oh, without the radar, it's kind of hard to tell at what point in the hit. But, I mean, just him and Ariel giving so many targets. Look at that. One in CT, one on Cat, one down deep on the other side of mid. It was, it was right just after... Perfect timing. Yeah, right after Symbol throws his HE on the fallback and holds the angle. His teammate pushes up. They all get killed. Slow starters. Navi planted the bomb just three times in the first ten rounds. Once after the round was over and... Uh, and twice it was diffused. Yeah, that's uh, that is that is rough. And of course, the bomb plants result in more buys. So that's the, the most important thing. I mean, apart from actually being able to win the round uh, in another way, I, then via elimination, it just it gives you gives you more chances to win, more chances to spin, more chances to win. I'm sold. Sign me up. Smoke, smoke to the corner. Pull back off long. Ends haven't taken it. Oh, we know how strong this upper tunnels pushes with the off. You throw it around once in a while. Oh, the Ooh. flash! That's so sick. good. That's so good. It's a shallow flash too, right? It's not one that lands deep in the site. Just bounces it off, particularly for that peak. Perfecto with the Fomus. Whoa. Able to pick up one kill. You saw Yampy there trying to, uh, excuse me, Ariel trying to force the issue. But the moment he lost his teammate, he kind of felt like he didn't want to all in on it. And I understand why. It's over towards Cat that Yampy could execute Electronic just on the other side of this corner with Boomich next to him. They go for the deep CT smoke. It's mollied out to fluster anybody close. But uh, this is opening a world of possibility where the long hit comes in on the split and they're just as successful as last round. Of course, Navi, probably just wiser keep, to it, not wanting to expose keep, themselves. They just need to keep throwing grenades, entertaining these cat players while the long players move up and it's scary. I mean, they just, the worst thing they could do is sacrifice themselves, but Navi are being smart about this, pushing up. It is, it's unclear who'll win, but they understand they need to get some more control. Oh, <laughs> what? 
Wow. Somebody cue that to the highlight reel. Thank you. Slow it down and, to like 0.10 speed. Uh, let's see. I, Okay, bomb plant half of it. Let's see what unfolds here. I mean, it, it goes perfectly. Electronic gets that kill, and, and, and now that he doubles back, it's supposed to compromise the players in the bomb site. Perfecto, able to move forward here. Alu being called into action. Aerial on Goose, able to stop it for now, but it's simple up at bat for the clutch. And Oof. of course, he's going to take it. That's going to be Navi on nine, but... It comes down to the wire yet again. Simple using those pistol players to push in front of him and just coming in as the insurance policy works out perfectly for Navi. All right, let's see it. Uh, I don't need. What I was that? wanting to see it from. Oh my god! He like saw him, looked away, just so that he could style flick back on it. On purpose, yeah. Very nice. That uh, round's probably brought to you by Electronic. If he gets the kill on the split, Cat Player can't help versus Long. Long control goes swimmingly. Whole round is different. Alu, oh, he waited in the fire and the flames. I think he might have been more blind than we saw. Didn't even take a chance on that second shot. But it's so much pressure into the B tunnels. Perfecto. He's been very smart about catching these lurkers. Can he stop the full on rush? Grenade? Not bad. Could have been worse. Perfecto's boosted up. Neither player checks him, but he tries to fall down onto them, and it doesn't quite work. There's not actually a second CT within the bomb site either. Deep Molotov coming out of Ents on the other side of Window. That's meant to guarantee bomb crosses over. I mean, Navi, they're either giving a 13th round to Ents and just forfeiting the B site. Oh, yeah. And that is exactly what unfolds here. A single kill versus Perfecto is how Ents take 13. Zero dollars on most players here for Navi, so they're gonna just try it again next round. And uh, sometimes that's how the cookie crumbles. You lose the one B player, you don't get a kill. It's too scary to get in the site. It's it's particularly scary when a team doesn't use as much utility to get into the site. And then you look at Navi's utility; they don't, they have the they have a couple of smokes and a Molotov. Honestly, they could have fleshed out a couple of positions. But generally speaking, there's lots of great places to stand in the B site to defend uh, versus door and window. And they didn't have tunnels control in time so though it's, it's probably reasonable to say you know it's, it'd be scary to let it go to 14 than to let it go to 13 because they had went in and attempted this i agree with you there i see the i see the train of thought you know losing that margin of error but it's not going to cost them the map or match just mm -hmm. yet getting dangerously close however and great ct side and good enough offense thus far Back in with another purchase, of course, getting what they can. Perfecto bottoms out for just the deagle and tidbits of utility. Once more, he's going to move over to that B site, but it looks like a hard hit on long aerial burning. Only able to get the one for his best efforts. Now that is commitment. Where's this repressure for Ents? Pushing out towards. There's eight. Uh, there's Flamey's got a, a Thomas here. He'll drop a smoke to play with Perfecto. Perfecto's not got a good gun. This might be the best site to take, though. Sunny gets tagged into the window and blind as they try to jump in. The hold is great once again. When they're both alive, it looks awesome. Ooh, Definitely great at working but... together. But Alu, oh, oh my god, that's wait. a second free kill. Luckily, simple. You know he's not going to waste any time. He's, nef he's definitely not scared of the fight and is there just in case. A situation like that arose. A little Man, look look at the kill distribution for Ent. Ent? Yeah, and basically awesome. everyone, yeah, everyone is is very tight within three, four kills. And you know, above the 10 kill mark, they are doing well for themselves. Between 15 and 19. I haven't seen a disparity that slim in a long time. It's great signs here for Ents. Bomb drop tunnels. Looks like we're just feeling out the map here for Ents. I feel like they realize that right now, because of the back and forth nature of these last few rounds, they almost have Navi in a chokehold. And they want a situation where when they get their 14th, the 15th comes easily with it. And this could be that round. Bottomed out bank accounts. Great grenade damage. My god. Only Sunny left over on Ents here. Everybody else on shaky legs. They're going to try to real hard, real hard to get this B split going. 
Flamey actually cuts down Sunny, the only tunnels player, but that is also the bomb. Flamey, he's got a teammate to keep eyes on window. They are able to pressure him out, however. It's a labored effort, but it works. Ariel and Yumpy, both low HP. Boomich on the flank already, and he's gonna find Sunny too scoped in. Or Yumpy, excuse me. No, not even. Excuse me, he, he's crouched behind the box. He takes a shot. Comes up empty-handed and Boomich gets it done. But whoa, there was a world there where Yumpy pops up, Boomich is caught in the middle of the tunnels and it all unravels. Navi able to get the job done. It's costly, but at least it's a round win. And that's gonna start chewing at the economy events. Absolutely got scary. Nice target selection from Boomich. As we start now to wind this game up, Navi get to 11. They maintain the ops in this round two, not just one. So although they lose three players, they get uh, kind of a valuable piece to make up for it. This is a, a bit scarier here for N says the, the B plays are not working out so well. Uh, I do like Navi's cat pressure and they're also winning long sometimes. So even when they've lost uh, even when they've lost the long takes in the beginning, they've got Simple and either Electronic and Boomage working on Cat together very well. And I think that's probably the scary adjustment here for Ents. They could roll the dice on long and try to kill all three players like they did once this half, or they could try to work it slow. But it seems like Na'Vi have now a few more ways to win. And Ents here on the pistols as Flamey goes for that push. This time, won't be blind and will also stay alive. Trying to fall back into cover. Perfecto's here to lend a helping hand, doing a great job of picking up these anti-eco kills yet once more. Not the first time we've seen Navi just flourish versus the lesser buy, but now they're within one. 12 rounds for Navi, 13 on Ents. We are in the final five. Always good to see the flame dog lighting up the scoreboard. 21 kills for him. And again, within round, within one round, it's very unclear at this point who is the better team in the second half. Navi have definitely made some great adjustments and kept up. So four players from the CTs out towards long initially deny any long presence. That seems to be one of their most volatile spots. Now when they regroup, they can leave Flamey here. They've got the presence on Cat. You know, if en Ence has probably got their eyes set on Cat, at least initially, whether they use it to take is a different question. They've got a flash specifically for simple. Oh, so that so close one would to the corner. Use. Yeah, he knows exactly what kind of angle he's got to work with. Yep. Calculate it. Molly burns him back, so yeah, they take a little bit of real estate here. It is, it is kind of recontested by Navi, Molly of their own. But this isn't going to have Ents falling anywhere back. No, they're going to stay close. Oh, ouch. Aerial. Eaten shrapnel after that grenade. Even a little bit of chip damage versus uh, Yumpy behind him. But Ents not finding anything elsewhere. You know, counter terrorists aren't hyper extending. Yeah, they Everybody's kind of just burning down the clock. They're, they're definitely, I think they're trying to get into B one more time, but making it seem like a cat play potentially. They're pushed out looking for a rotate, for someone to look to recollect information. I mean, I love the CS both ways, honestly. They're putting a there fair amount is. of pressure here. Yeah, and they, they do suss it out. So now cat is absolutely the prime target of the hour. Yep, it all comes down to the goose player and electronic, and he's got just the one. Yumpy, quick trade frag, Boomich. He's going to try to throw himself across amidst it all, and he even gets the headshot, but the AK is better than the M4. Scientific fact. Look what it does. Pushes Navi back. They're going to have to contend this one in the next round. 14th to 12th. And Ents are looking good. I love the way they set up into the catwalk. I mean, you could see it kind of flustering the CTs on site. It was very much Simple who was lending a helping hand on ramp, but because nobody was watching down towards bottom mid, Simple had to come repeak it, and Alu called that a day and a half in advance. It was a, one of the most fundamentally normal rounds that you can see on Dust2, but from that perspective, also one of the most beautiful from both sides. I think the adjustments all made sense. I love that Navi started out with the long control, with, since that was their main pain point, but then also Ents not, a, not trying to throw bodies at that problem just yet. Then working on Cat, as that's usually very volatile for the CTs, not giving up the kill there. And then finally, pushing at Simple back to the point where he is simply too bored. He has nothing to watch. He has, he has a smoke on Cat. He's trying to get information elsewhere. He takes the next safest peak possible and Ents are there waiting. They did the perfect amount of map control in all of the correct locations to suss out the most important player.
from Navi. And you know, that's how hard you should have to work to kill Simple every round. Um, but this is just kind of a glimpse of how, how, how it looks when it goes right. And you know, you gotta really appreciate uh, the brand of CS uh, from, from honestly both teams, but uh, specifically from Ents ultimately. And then the trade train, perfect. Uh, Feels sleeping giant at times for Navi. I think that, I mean, remember when he got onto the roster, turned heads. It was a big addition, like you said, right? Remember when he came in as the youngest? Anchors. Yeah. Overpass, B anchor, ramp on nuke is another classic mm -hmm. for Flamey. Those are the two spots that always come to mind. Okay. I love so. it. Here it is. He is actually take. He took his spawn this time around, even though he's been helping Perfecto out a lot at B. This is an interesting spot for Navi. They've got the four players here. Flamey's making the early rotation. Simple gets the free kill this time, and he'll fall back with the Molotov. Double incendiary, in fact, just to make sure that nobody runs through. Very cool. This, this could be the remedy. And Flamey's already found Sanctuary in the side, the B site. Doesn't matter if mid's left open. They've got the op from him that can play in window. Nobody's in the tunnel split pressure. They'll finally aggress. But was that a kill too many? Electronics welcoming them in. We've seen Ents do good things from the cat elbow. Very real chance for them once more. They're not going to have map control anywhere else, though. So, I mean, Navi at this point, they did what they had to, right? Setting up simple to succeed early on. And then just content to be in a five versus four. Now, there's still a lot of utility across the board. Electronic will be the next one to be tested. He decides to throw down a smoke in the face of adversity, and he doesn't even react. Yumpy just takes his head clean off. Now, this could be a strong post plant towards Cat if they even wanted to. They're not going to have that long control. So sure enough, Sunny puts the bomb down for them to fall back to the depths of which they came. Boomich all the while, real deep over on Long Pit. How do Navi get back into this? They have a smoke for Cat. That's the number one most important thing. Flashbangs as well, coming up and over. Big pickup versus Alu. Sergey tries to find a headshot here, but it's just Yumpy thus far. Now Sergey's gonna activate. Good for a second kill. And they have confirmation that Boomich is here on ramp. He's the last, and they move past Ents. 15 rounds. Definitely helps when you have Sergey guarding that bomb like a mother hen. He just sat on it. And as they walked into the bomb site, he cut them down with headshots. But Electronic coming up empty handed there on ramp. I don't think Navi expected that one. So difficult to know, as you're pointing out, when to take part in these fights. And, and, and Sergey absolutely activated the correct time right when they turned the corner, collected a lot of information. And Ence did that 4v5 after finding, after Navi had the perfect opening setup, getting that early cat kill, calling out Ence for going there fast because it worked so well for them that last round. Zoom bang, wallop. Yumpy and Alu make a mean double op combo. The pair have over 17,000 op kills between them and just over 6,000 combined on the AK-47. Yeah, I mentioned wow. it briefly, but I, I really do like the addition of the, the, the double op setup into Ence's setups because it is definitely this Yumpy over X7 roster that enables that. Very fun to watch, but... Dodging grenades over towards Long. A final attempt for Navi, perhaps, to hold off Ents. They're going to have to reverse sweep the series by pushing this second one into overtime. Can they even manage step one? It's going to be a tough job to do with such limited weapons. Maybe we can get some heroics out of Perfecto and Flamey if they end up going headfirst into the B site. But without an op on the A site, I mean, I feel like this becomes even more tantalizing than it has been in the past two rounds. Little utility usage. Nobody close here for the CTs, though. We have seen different faces of Navi on this A-hold at times, extending into catwalk, giving Ents the gunfights close. But now it's going to be the Deagle of Electronic that's got to come up with something. He could have been the linchpin of the round previous, but was a little preoccupied with throwing these sorts of smokes. This time he's going to do it a step earlier and jumps over to the boxes. Uh, if only they had actually walked in here, but... And Bat comes back into this, and, and we got our
Okay. What happened? Dom, you're still alive. I'm still okay. Guys. I'm sorry. Our feet. Yeah, sorry. Our, feet, our feet just dropped for a second. Yeah, that's okay. The, uh, yeah, that was, that was, uh, basically awful everyone timing. got a kill and uh, awful timing. Yeah. But, um, and, uh, electronic and then that one beak. Uh, that's pretty much revenge for the last round where he was kind of a sitting duck on the, on the A site. Actually, the reason I think that happened was because the, he kept hearing continuation flashes. So he, I think he was going to pop up as soon as they stopped. But they just kept coming, basically. Well, that's a, that's a quick round. That's a long. He's, uh, not, that's 14-15. I think all five players survived as well, just because of how fast it happened. I'm trying to quickly jump into the server so I can actually yeah. tell you guys what's going on. Myself as well. That would be a great time for either Navi or Ents to take a pause, but I don't think we're going to get that luxury. So let's see, we've got weapons still up for both teams. Round 30 is upon us. The OT oh. comeback dream. Not going to be made easy by Alu picking up the first kill. We had seen the defense fall back into the site a couple of times, and that was what was working. They try to extend, they try to get that first gunfight, and it's going to cost them a body, and not just any body. One of the biggest bodies in Counter-Strike. Simple is down. Damn, Alu almost grabbed a second as well. I wonder what information that that tells them. Uh, it might have just been that that was Flamey coming back from long control initially, but the T's have already gotten out here. Oh, Boomage almost gets that double. Uh, Yumpy makes it a lot easier for Ents now to move up towards long, and Electronic next up to bat, once again, trying to get revenge. Trying to hold it. Molotov goes over towards the cat. He expects Sunny to run through, and the Molotov gets him, but Sunny with the headshot a tick before he dies. That is kind of incredible. For this to maybe make the difference in the 30th round, when we have match on the line, this is going to be a wild two versus two attempt. Perfecto already up closer towards the ramp. His teammate deeper beneath him in CT spawn. Alu. Looking on with the op, with that flashbang, Alu's gonna swing. He could find timing, his heads are turned. He gets the first, it's Flamey, 1v1. He sees Ariel, but...